Test-driven development is an important practice in agile software engineering. Not only does it let us know when we're done with the feature, it also builds up a suite of regression tests. These tests will let us know if we introduce a regression error during coding later on. However, test-driven development of a graphical user interface is more complex. The first step in test-driven development of a graphical user interface is the creation of a prototype. Prototypes allow us to perform usability evaluations. In usability evaluations, real users are asked to interact with the prototype as though it were a real application. For example, with this prototype, when I click the Clear Report button, the fields are blanked out, as we would expect in a real application. With usability evaluations, we can identify errors in an application early on. Leet is a capture replay tool. That means it can be used to record users' interactions with an application and replay them later as a test. So once we've fixed any errors in our prototype, we can actually interact with it and use Leet to record tests. Notice, as I interact with the prototype, these actions are being recorded by Leet. Later, we can replay this test on the actual GUI as an acceptance test. Once this test passes, we know we're done with this feature. If we want to do more detailed testing, we can use Leet for rule-based testing. In rule-based testing, we create preconditions and implications out of existing tests and combine these into rules. Rules are then embedded into test scripts and will fire after each step in the test script. Whenever the precondition is met, the implication must also be met or an exception will be raised. This can be used to increase the state space of an application that's covered during testing.